A walk audit is a facilitated walk of an area with a mixed group of participants, usually public officials, local residents, stakeholders, advocates, to go look at an area on foot and explore how friendly it is for walking, bicycling, and transit use. And we're really trying to explore, is it really accessible for everybody in our community? People of all ages, incomes, abilities, disabilities. Does it work for everybody? The data that I just suggested to you, or the evidence I'm suggesting, says we've got to be asking about four things. Are you seeing a variety of different kinds of destinations, the mix of land uses that we talk about? Two, what is the quality, connectivity, comprehensiveness of the network? Are we connected and does it work well, the quality of the facilities? Three, when I get to destinations, do they reward me or punish me for showing up without a car? Last but not least, is it safe? Is it fully accessible for every possible user? Are we thinking about all users, not just how does it work for me, how does it work for everybody who might use this environment? When I take people on a walk out, I'm always looking for a mix of good and bad, challenging conditions and also rewarding conditions. In fact, I ask people to score it on a zero to 10 scale while we're walking because I want them to experience good stuff and say, wow, nice wide sidewalk, it's in good repair, this is great, it's set back from the traffic. And I also want them to see what challenges are out there and understand how that would affect people's choice to either walk or bike or choose to drive instead if they can. So the best walk audits have a mix of both good and bad conditions so we can compare them and they go to real destinations, a school, a park, a playground, shopping, so that people have the experience of walking in the real world and seeing what would help determine whether they'd choose to walk there or whether they'd be deterred by challenging conditions. The best walk audits are interdisciplinary and inclusionary. By that I mean I want people that have professional responsibilities for the infrastructure like planning, public works, engineering departments, uh, elected officials, economic development officers, health department, but I'd also like local stakeholders, neighborhood association, the people that live there, people that have businesses along that corridor. I'd like advocates, pedestrian and bicycle advocates, experts in disability design, so and maybe an ADA design expert or somebody with a disability that can actually inform us as to what works and what doesn't for them. That mix assures that I get the perspectives of all potential users and make sure we accommodate all of them. I'd encourage people to go to some of the national resources. Many of them have lots of information on good, healthy street design, you know, designs that encourage people to walk and bike and be active, and how to actually get in engaged locally, how to become a, a neighborhood leader, for example. One of the most important things people can do is start to walk in their own neighborhood so that they A, are a role model, and B, begin to see what's working well and what they'd like to make better. Because the mere act of reaching out to your local planning department and saying, you know, I walk here all the time, I'd walk my kids to school, except for we can't get across 10th Street or something like that, that could be enough to start to elicit change. So the mere act of getting out, walking, experiencing, and then reaching out to local officials can be a very important start to a, a very productive process.